Hi, I'm Mrs Detton, I'm the Head of English at Smesto School in Wolverhampton and I'd really like to introduce you to a little bit of one of my favourite books. It's called Cosmic by Frank Cottrell Boyce and the reason I like it so much is because it's so funny in places. Well, if I'm honest, it's funny pretty much all the way through. It's about this boy whose name is Liam Digby, who wants to see the world, but not quite as it really is. The problem is for Liam. While he thinks he's an ordinary 12-year-old boy, and actually he is in many ways, he is a very, very tall 12-year-old boy. And sometimes people think he's a grown-up because of how tall he is. So this book is full of incredible stories about all the things that Liam manages to get up to. And sometimes he has to tell the odd, only tiny little white lie. But in doing so, he wins himself a trip to the theme park, he makes loads and loads of new friends and completely and utterly by accident, he ends up travelling in space. So this is a very small part of chapter four of um, Frank Cottrell Boyce's Cosmic. OK, and I'm going to concentrate on Liam's first day at school. The new uniform that mum had bought me at the beginning of the summer didn't fit anymore and they had to send off for an extra large lower school blazer. I got a special dispensation to wear my own clothes for the first half term. When we went to get my travel pass for the bus to school, the woman in the office wouldn't believe I was school age, so we had to go home and get my birth certificate. And then the next morning, when I showed it to the bus driver, she wouldn't believe it was mine, and I had to get off the bus, text mum, and she came down and explained to the driver of the next bus that I was unusually tall for my age. It's not the height, love said the driver. It's the stubble. Mum said, am I going to have to do this every morning? Only till we get used to him. In the end, Mum sent off for a passport for me. I kept it in my pocket in case I got questioned again. Dad said, that'll keep you out of trouble. How wrong can a person be, by the way? When I got to school, Mrs Sass, the head, saw me in reception and said, ah, oh, Tom, Liam? Yes, of course, I'm Lorraine. Come this way. I remember thinking, fancy her telling me her first name. Isn't that friendly? Mrs Kendall never told us her first name when we were at Joan of Arc School. So Lorraine took me to the staff room and started telling me the names of all the teachers. They all shook hands with me and said they were pleased to meet me. I was thinking, what a polite school. I wonder if they do this to every new kid. It must take ages. Then Lorraine said, Everybody. This is Tom. Sorry, Liam Middleton, our new head of media studies. And she was pointing at me. I know I should have put her right there and then. But someone gave me a mug of coffee and a custard cream and sat me down in a nice big easy chair. So I thought, I'll tell her later when I've eaten the biscuit. Then Lorraine said, we've got assembly this morning. I'll bring you up on the stage and introduce you to the whole school. Do you have anything you'd like to say about you? Like what football team you support or any special interests? I suppose that would have been a good time to say. Very interestingly, I'm not a teacher, I'm a year seven. But she just seemed so happy. So I said, I like massively multiplayer online computer games. She looked a bit blank. Like World of Warcraft, you know, where you have an avatar and your avatar has skills and goes on quests. Ah, oh, said Lorraine. Skills. We're great believers in promoting skills here at Waterloo High. I've got a lot of skills, I said. Of course, some of them aren't that useful in real life, like dragon taming. Some of them are illegal, like knife throwing. I think that's illegal. I think it probably is. I did try to persuade the head in my last school to start a World of Warcraft club, but she just looked at me like I was an idiot. Lorraine looked at me like I was an idiot. Then the bell went. We'd better go through to assembly. Maybe you should just introduce yourself. Don't worry about being interesting. <laughs>